It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl. Today, two outstanding elementary schools to start our elementary year. Let's meet them right now. First, from Northview Elementary, would you please say hello to Tyler Ziegler, Samaya McLaughlin, and Benke Yadam. And from Rogers Heights Elementary School, here they are, Lorenzo Ortiz, Joab Giron, and Andrew Fuentes. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to the difficulty of the question. The easier questions are on the left, worth 5 and 10 points. The tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. And into the two rounds, one of these two good-looking teams will come back to play our game again and perhaps advance to this year's semifinal round. Let's go over and make sure everything's working properly. Let's go to the red team. And Samaya, would you try your buzzer for me? Thank you. It looks and sounds good. Good luck to you and to Tyler and to Benke. And the green team, Joab, would you try yours? It, too, looks like it's in good shape. Good luck to you, to Andrew, and to Leonardo. Not Lorenzo. I'm sorry I mispronounced your name there. Leonardo, good to have you here. We go alphabetically, which means N before R. That means North. You gets to start the game. Samaya, let's play the ball. Give me a category and a number. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, it was the scientist by the name of William Harvey who dissected his own father and sister who discovered that blood in our body doesn't just sit there in a pool. Rather, it does this. What does it do, Circulate. North View? Circulates. It circulates, indeed. William Harvey discovered blood circulation. Put a the tail of a goldfish under the microscope and saw the blood moving around too to confirm his suspicions. Red, go. Samaya, pick. Let's get physical for 15. Get physical for 15 points. Teams, astronomers recently discovered a new moon and they named it for a water god because the planet it orbits around is also named for a water god. North view. Neptune. Neptune. King Neptune. That's right. Those were the clues there. Good. Red. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, recently scientists took a gene gun loaded with bioluminescent DNA, shot it into a plant, and now the plant does what? Glows. North you. Glows. It glows in the dark. How about that? You could have those in front of your house and you wouldn't even need a night light outside. They're street lights, forget it. You got glowing plants. Tyler, nice assist there. Go red. Um, Dateline Science for 20. Dateline Science for 20 points. Teams back in 1943, a long time before you were born. Me too. The U.S. Mint made pennies out of steel because during World War II they needed, North U? Copper. Copper. They needed the copper for the war effort. Absolutely right. The steel pennies. I have a penny collection. I still have those. Go. Red. Zoo Parade for 20. Zoo Parade for 20 points. Team, look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please, for this question. What you're about to see is a cassowary. It's a giant, flightless bird that lives in Australia. That is a male cassowary, and he takes care and raises the chicks. Not only that, he sits on the eggs that the female laid. He sits on them to do what to them? Um, Roger's Heights? Reproduce. Not reproduce. By sitting on those eggs, that male, what does he do to those eggs, Northview? Warm them. 
What's another name for warming? Incubate. Incubate. Exactly right. Good comeback. Nice try, Joab. Get them next time. Go red. Um, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, if you eat an orange, it is not a pure bread fruit. You get an orange by crossing a pomelo, which is a kind of grapefruit, and a mandarin, which is sort of like an orange. Because you've got two different things contributing to that orange, it's a mixed breed, otherwise known as a what? What do we call that, Roger Sykes? Hybrid. Hybrid, yeah, that's a hybrid fruit. Good answer. All three contributing to that, Leonardo and Andrew both. Good, go, green. Mm -hmm. Um. Green things for 25? Green things for 25. Big one in that category is a multiple choice question. Teams, the center of a plant's stem, which is soft and spongy, is known as the pith, the phloem, or the pistol. What is the center of the stem known as for 25 points north U? Phloem. Not the phloem. No, Rogers Heights. The soft, spongy center of a plant stem is known as the pith, the phloem, or the pistol. The, the first the, the first one? The first one, the pith is exactly right, yes. The pistol is part of the female reproductive system and the phloem is part of the vascular system. All right, 25 points. Let's check that score. Northview is at 145. Rogers Heights at 95. You needed those points, green team. Go again. Um, let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25 points. Teams, if you're in an automobile and a live electrical wire falls across your car in a thunderstorm, if you get out, be very careful that you don't touch any other metal because if you do, you will complete an electrical what and be electrocuted. Circuit. North you. Circuit. Circuit, yes indeed. Something to remember. Good answer. Got yourself 25 more. Go red. Soup parade for 25. Soup parade for 25 points. Teams. Thousands of years ago, when farmers were looking for an animal to kill the rats that were eating all the grain that the farmer had just harvested, they all looked at the cat. Yeah, let's get that cat. But cats didn't want to be around people. Slowly they got the cat used to being around people. What D initial term describes when you get animals used to being around people? Roger Zeiss. Domestic? Yes, indeed. Domestic. Domestication. Exactly. Thank you, Leonardo, for your assist. You're back in this game. Go, Rogers. Oh, hold that thought. We've come to the end of the first round, and we will readjust that score in just a moment and be back with round two on the Science Bowl. Don't you go away. It takes more than perfect balance. More than a great pair of legs. More than a good sword. It takes more than just talent. More than the will to win. It takes you. It takes your donations to support the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic teams. And now you can donate on Facebook. He's done it! The U.S. has done it! Support the U.S. Olympic team on Facebook and donate to make Olympic dreams come true. Hello, I'm Tom Selleck. In every generation, men and women have come forward to fight for freedom and defend our liberty. Over 58,000 of them are named on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Join me in supporting a new campaign to build an education center near the wall to tell their stories and teach about the values of those who have served in the past and who serve today. Learn how you can help. Thank you. Welcome back to Science Bowl. Thank you for spending part of your day with us. Opening day for the elementary schools. We couldn't have asked for six better young people. They're playing wonderfully. We're going to give them a break for a moment and find out a little about themselves and their school. Let's go first to Northview. We always love to have Northview here because you always wear your lab coats. Now, when you're at school, Samaya, do you wear those coats? 
No. This is for ceremonial occasions only. But I know you have a great science department and great science teachers. Who are your sponsors? Ms. Grove and Mr. Moffitt. Yes, and they're here today. We'll bring them out in just a few moments. They're wonderful supporters of Science Bowl. Do you have any alternates on your team? Yes, we have Kuba. Kuba, and Kuba will be out. He will be out a little bit later. And tell the viewers who don't know anything about Northview where it is. It's in Bowie, Maryland. Yes, yeah, a relatively new school. Uh, less than 10 years old now and a uh, beautiful place. I've been out there a number of times. And tell me about uh, what it is at that school that you really like. You like to brag to people that you go to Northview. What's great there? Well, we have Starbucks. You have Starbucks? I take it that's not the coffee place where you get a latte, huh? No. What are Starbucks? Starbucks are like treats and every few weeks yeah. you have the cart coming around with snacks and you can get one item. Sometimes they have toys and you have sometimes the teachers have this list where you can pick one thing. Some are eight, some are 15. And how do you, I don't mean to interrupt you, how do you earn these Starbucks? Is it because of good behavior and good grades and things? Yes. Wow. So you guys must be rich because I, I can't imagine better students than you guys. Samaya, what do you want to do someday, professionally? I want to be a pediatrician. Pediatrician, yeah. And you have a younger brother, brother at home. So uh, I'm sure he's looking up to you. You'll be good at whatever you decide. You're a good captain. And I know you were here before as an alternate. Tyler, you were here before. Yes. This is your second time. That's why you're so cool and calm and collected. How do you know so much about science? Because you do. I do research and I watch a lot of shows that sometimes they have science in them, but you don't realize it. Boy, isn't that a nice thing to say? Sometimes you, they slip it in and you don't realize how much you're learning. That's a really good answer. You're a very poised young lady. What do you want to do someday? I want to be an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur? Wow, I don't, I don't know anyone's ever used that name, that word before here. What's an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur is like somebody who starts their own business, who does what they want to, and that's what I want to do. Absolutely. You're your own boss, and that's the, sometimes that's the toughest boss to work for. Nice to have you back. Becky, nice to have you here. Tell us about yourself. Now, I know you like to play soccer, and what team do you play for? Um, I play for um, Maryland United. Maryland United, and uh, you'd like to be a professional soccer player someday, yeah? But you also had some other career goals. Yeah, like I want to be a businessman, like after I retire of being a soccer player. Well. <laughs> You've got it all planned out, don't you? You too sound like you'd be an entrepreneur, just like Tyler. Get into your own business someday. Why'd you want to be on this show? Well, I kind of like science, and I like being competitive a lot, so it's kind of like a perfect match. Absolutely. You're in the right place. We're glad to have you. Roger Seitz, nice to have you guys here. You're all dressed similarly over there. You're not wearing lab coats, but you're wearing those uh, light blue polo shirts. Is that part of the school uniform? Yes. Yeah. And uh, Joab, tell us about Rogers Heights. It's over there in the Bladensburg area. Yes. And yeah. you're right next door to what other school? Um, Port Towns. Port Towns yeah. Elementary, and they play on Science Ball yes. as well. Who's your sponsor? Um, Miss Brown and Mr. Walker and Mr. Hendrick. Wow, you've got a lot of people, a lot of adults behind you. I know that at least Miss Brown is here today. We'll have her come out and any other sponsors that might be here. Any alternates on your team? Yes, Anna, Anna Alvarez. Yeah. And is, and, is um, Katia? Katia. Katia Portillo, she is also here. We'll bring them out in just a few moments. Tell me about Roger Seitz. Uh, Northview has Starbucks. What do you guys have that you're um, proud of? Well, we have we have um, instrumental as well. We play, um, all of us play instruments. Yeah, that's a, thanks for sharing. What, what instrument do you play? Um, the cello. Cello, wow. So that's something big to carry yes. around, huh? Yes. Hopefully you get to leave that at school. <laughs> How long have you played it? Um, since fourth grade. Fourth grade, wow. And you're in sixth grade now? Yes. Very good. And what do you want to do someday, Joy? Well, I want to become a video game designer yeah. because, well, it still involves science and, and, and I still don't use the education that I get. No, uh, video, video games are very sophisticated and uh, 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 intelligent young men like you, uh, definitely, I can see the appeal. You'll be good at that. Andrew, nice to have you here. He's a safety patrol, helps people on and off the buses over there. You look like a responsible guy, Andrew. Yeah. And uh, tell me about uh, science. Uh, is it one of your favorite subjects? Yes. Yeah, I know you like social studies too, don't you? Yes. Uh, what do you want to do someday? I want to be a soccer player. Ah, you and Banky both, huh? Do you play for an organized team? Yes, I play for this team in Washington, D.C. called the Washington Eagles. Very good. All right. And what do you like to do in your spare time if you're not playing soccer? Uh, I mostly read. Sometimes I go outside. 
Yeah. Normal kid stuff, right? Yeah. Good to have you here. Leonardo, tell us about yourself. I know you told me earlier that uh, you like to take things apart, break things, if you will, and then yeah. put them back together. Do they still work when you put them back together? Sometimes. 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 <laughs> I think most engineers would tell you that. What do you want to do someday? I might want to be a scientist. A scientist, yeah. Well, you're doing the right thing by being here. You're obviously a good science student. What do you do in your spare time? I, I like to read or either watch his, the History Channel. Oh, very good. All right. Well, uh, you're a real asset to the team. Let's see how you do in the second half. Right now, Rogers Heights 120, North U 170. Lots of points to give away. Remind you that the Science Pope brief for 20 points is still available. Last correct answer comes from the red team. So, Samaya, start us out. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, in order to get into school, you need to get an MMR vaccination. That is for measles, rubella, and the other M is for a childhood disease that involves swollen salivary glands. What is that other childhood disease that you have to be vaccinated against? Mumps. Mumps. Measles, mumps, and rubella. Go red. Body scissors for 25. Body scissors for 25 points. Teams, there are some Olympic skiers who have the ability to get extra amounts of oxygen because they have a genetic mutation that gives their bodies extra numbers of these cells. What kinds of cells would give them extra oxygen? White blood cells. Sorry? White blood cells. White blood cells. Not quite. Good try. Good try. Rogers Heights, what kind of cells would give an Olympic skier more oxygen? These skiers, some of them have a genetic mutation that gives them more oxygen. What do you think, guys? You have an idea? Mm, no. Northfield, you came so close. They're the red blood cells. The red blood cells carry the oxygen. The white ones are the infection fighters. Oh, you came close. Go, Red. Daylight signs for 25. Dateline for 25 points. Teams, recently, President Obama gave the Medal of Freedom to Oprah Winfrey, President Bill Clinton, and this woman who died recently, who was America's first woman in space. She, too, got a Medal of Freedom. Can you name her? She was Sally Ride. Sally Ride. She was awarded that Medal of Freedom posthumously. Not doing too well with some of these 25 pointers. Go again, Northview. Science Popery for 25. Science Popery for 25 points. Teams, there is a new app that you could get called eBird. eBird is great for ornithologists because they can see on a world map all the positions where the birds are located as they do what? As they do what, Roger Heights? Breed? Not breed. Good try. Northview, you can see all these birds on this app called eBird. You can watch the birds as they do what? Migrate. Migrate. Yeah, absolutely right. You can watch their progress from South America up to the North Pole and back again. Go red. Let's get physical for 20. Get physical for 20 points. Teams, there's a new movie out called Gravity. Everybody is talking about it, and Sandra Bullock tries to go from this telescope that she just repaired to the space station. Name that famous telescope they go to repair. Come on, Rogers Heights. The, hu the Hubble? You got it, the Hubble Space Telescope. It only works in the movies because they're in different orbit. You could never do that in real life, but it's a great movie. Go green. Good answer. Um... Zooparade for 15? Zooparade for 15 points. Teams, your question is as follows. It didn't work in the movie Finding Nemo for the sharks, but scientists have been able to train a kind of fish called the cobia to stop eating fish and being carnivorous, instead doing this. Roger Seitz. Um, eat, um, become a herbivore? Absolutely right. They trained these fish to be herbivores. It's easier and cheaper to feed them. Remember the sharks that tried not to eat Nemo? Mm, couldn't do it. Go, green. Um, uh, Miss Roy, uh, Roy, make sure you turn this uh, light here so I can see that this is green. Go. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, in the Washington Post, they said, bling begins with a blam. Yep, two stars, two dead stars collided, and as a result, they produced so much of this precious metal with the chemical symbol AU that it could fill up 20 moons. Produced a lot of what, Northview? Gold. Gold, yes. All that gold out there, but we can't get it. We can't get it. Go. Red. Green things for 15. 
Three things for 15 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Teams, plants known as epiphytes, like ferns and orchids, that grow in the jungle on trees, but don't suck any nutrients from the trees that they're sitting on, are therefore not considered what kind of P initial plants? Rogers Heights. Parasites? Yeah, they are non-parasitic. Absolutely right. Good answer. Go. Um, Zuparate for 10. Zuparate for 10 points. Teams, in Greek mythology, the Gorgon Medusa, instead of having hair, has what slithery reptiles, oh, Northview? Snakes. snakes. Yeah, try combing that out. Go, red. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, inside of your kidneys are filtering devices that have the same name as what giant tombs in Egypt? Pyramids? Rogers Heights. Pyramids? Pyramids, yes, your kidney has pyramids as the ureter begins to form. Go green. Um, let's go physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points, teams. We all know that gravity pulls things down, but what force in water pushes up against gravity, Pressure. north view? Pressure. Not pressure, good try. What is the force that pushes up against gravity in the water? Is... Gentlemen. Um, um, helium? Buoyancy. Buoyancy is the force. 220, 180. Keep in mind, Pope 320 is still available. Yes, judges, is that correct? Still? Yes. Go. Yes. Who's the last correct? Uh, uh, go green. Um, science Pope Brie for 20. Pope Brie for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Boy, this was a big mess. NASA used a satellite where it used English units like feet and inches and yards, but the company that built it used what other system? Rogers Heights? Metric system? Yeah, they used the metric system and the whole thing blew up. Go green. Um, green things for 10. Green things for 10? Green things for 10 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Scientists now think that fungicides and pesticides are being sprayed onto so many flowers that it is poisoning this part of the flower that is equivalent to the male sperm. So when the bees eat it, the bees are dying. What are the bees eating on the flower, Northview? Pollen. Yes, indeed. Absolutely right. Good. Red. Sign Pope Reef for 10. Pope Reef for 10 points. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please. The dung beetle in Africa rolls its dung balls in a straight line because it lines itself up with the stars in what familiar galaxy? Milky North Way. You? Milky Way. Milky Way is right. Yes, good. Go red. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline for 10 points, teams. In the next three months, this field on the sun will flip so that north will be south and south will be north. Roger Heights. Um, what? The axis? Not the axis. What field on the sun flips? It will do so in about four months, and north then will become south, and south will become north. Magnetic. Magnetic field it is. Good. Red, go. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, if a farmer reaps a bad crop, it's probably because he planted bad what? Northview? Seeds. Seeds, yes, indeed. A bad seed. Red. Zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points. Teams, it's a good thing that the jockeys are robots in Saudi Arabia because they have to ride these animals with a big bump on their back. Camels. Rogers Heights. Camels. Camels is right. Good. Joab. Um, let's get physical for five. Get physical for five points. Teams, scientists hope that the warp rise that used to be on Star Trek will someday come true that so all of us can travel faster than the speed of what? Rogers Heights? Light. Light, good, go. Three questions left. Also, Potpourri for 20 still available? No, go. Um, dateline size for five? Dateline for five points, teams. Scientists now think that they have found our ancestors way back in the Garden of Eden. They call them Y chromosome Adam and mitochondrial who? Northview. Eve. Eve is right, good. All right, go, red. Sign for five. Pope Reef for five points, teams. Long before Apple succeeded with the iPad, it had a big flop with another personal device named for what man who discovered gravity after getting hit in the head with an apple? Northview. Newton. Newton, yes. The Newton was a big bust. Last question of the game. Body assistance for five points, teams. Well, technically, 
people call them metacarpals and metatarsals. Most people call them piggies and pinkies. What body digits am I talking about? What are the piggies and the pinkies, Rogers Heights? Your feet. Your, more specifically? Um, your toes. Your toes, absolutely right. And with that, we come to the end of our science bowl. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. Don't you go away. Hello? Hello? I've been on the street for a while. I've been on the street for a while. I saw your post on site. I saw your post on site. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. National Runaway Switchboard, how can I help? Call 1-800-RUNAWAY to make the connection. but we could not have asked for a better start to our season. What a great game. Six great players. Our final tally today is Rogers Heights 215, Northview 265. The team in the white coats has done it. Tyler and Samaya and Banky, congratulations. And Kuba, congratulations. He's wearing the requisite white coat. That's Banky's brother. And look at the team that they have in back them there. Mrs. Grove, who always sends us a great team, a tremendous science teacher. Mr. Moffat also has been with us for years, and their principal, Mr. Simmons. Thank you all. Congratulations. We'll see you in the next round. I want to see some big smiles over here. You guys came from way back. Leonardo and Joab and Andrew, you started to gel as a team. And look at the, the alternates back there, Anna and Katya. I know how proud you are. Miss Brown, congratulations. Thank you for all the work you do. Mr. Hendricks, congratulations to you as well. And a young man who was on Science Bowl himself many years ago. <laughs> Mr. Walker is over there. He knows where all these students sit. Thank you all for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.